in the world of entertainment, the actress, Shree Norse, etched an indelible mark. Born Don Shirley Krang on January 17, 1932, in Los Angeles, California, the actress began her journey in show business at a young age. Initially, Cherie North pursued a career in dance, which eventually led her to the big screen. In 1950, she made her film debut in Please Believe Me, although her role went uncredited. However, this did not deter the actress from pursuing her dreams. Cherie North's breakthrough role came in 1954 when she starred alongside Marlon Brando in The French Line. The actress's performance in the film received critical acclaim, and she quickly became a household name. Throughout her career, Shuri North appeared in numerous films and television shows, including How to Be Very, Very Popular, The Gazebo, and The Munsters. She also starred in several Broadway productions, showcasing her versatility as a performer. Shuri North's talent extended beyond acting. She was also a singer and released several albums throughout her career. Moreover, the actress was a passionate advocate for women's rights and used her platform to promote gender equality. Shiri North's contributions to the entertainment industry resonate with many, and her legacy continues to inspire aspiring performers today. Her talent, perseverance, and dedication to her craft serve as a testament to her enduring impact on the world of entertainment. Actress Sherry North rose to fame in the 1950s and 60s with a career that spanned over four decades. She starred in numerous films and television shows, leaving a lasting impact on the industry. Do you have a cherished memory associated with the actress? What enduring qualities do you think make her an everlasting symbol of the industry? Throughout her career, the actress showcased her versatility and talent in various roles. From her early days in Hollywood to her later work on television, she left a lasting impression on audiences and critics alike. As we delve deeper into the actress's life and career, you'll discover many funny, shocking, and sad facts that will keep you engaged and entertained. We would love to hear your stories and memories related to this classic star. Share them with us in the comments below. Stay tuned to learn more about the actress's journey, the challenges she faced, and the lasting impact she made on the entertainment industry. The story of the actress is one that continues to resonate with audiences today. Born Don Shirley Krang in 1933 in Los Angeles, the actress had a modest upbringing. Her father, a carpenter, and her mother, a waitress, instilled in her a strong work ethic from an early age. She began dancing as a child, taking lessons at the renowned Earl Carroll Theater. This early exposure to the world of entertainment sparked a passion for performing that would shape her future. The actress's path to stardom was not without its challenges. She dropped out of high school to support her family and worked as a chorus girl in various stage productions. However, her talent and determination caught the eye of a talent scout, leading to a contract with 20th Century Fox. Throughout her career, the actress was influenced by a number of mentors and peers. One of her earliest influences was actress and dancer Eleanor Powell, who she admired for her grace and technical skill. She also credits Marilyn Monroe as a key influence, noting that she learned a great deal about comedy and timing from watching the iconic actress on set. Despite facing numerous obstacles, including being miscast in a number of early roles, the actress persevered, developing her own unique style and approach to acting. She became known for her versatility, excelling in both dramatic and comedic roles. Throughout her career, the actress remained humble and dedicated to her craft. She continued to take classes and study with acting coaches, always striving to improve and grow as an artist. Her enduring legacy is a testament to her talent, hard work, and unwavering commitment to the world of film and television. Shuri North, also known as the female Marlon Brando, was a trailblazing actress who influenced the film industry during her era and beyond. Born on January 17, 1933, she started her career as a dancer and quickly transitioned to acting. North's impact was significant in the 1950s and 1960s, challenging traditional gender roles and expectations in Hollywood. She starred in various films, including The Man with a Golden Arm and The Mating Game, where she showcased her versatility and talent. Her contribution to Hollywood extended beyond acting as she became a successful singer and songwriter. North's music was featured in several films, and she even wrote and performed the title song for the movie How to Be Very, Very Popular. Moreover, North was a strong advocate for women's rights 
and equality in the entertainment industry. She used her platform to speak out against sexism and discrimination, inspiring future generations of actresses to demand fair treatment and pay. Norse's influence on Hollywood is still felt today. Her groundbreaking roles in advocacy for women's rights paved the way for future actresses to break free from traditional gender norms and expectations. In conclusion, Cherie North was a trailblazing actress and advocate who left an indelible mark on the film industry. Her contributions to Hollywood as an actress, singer, and advocate for women's rights continue to resonate today. Ever since the actress was a young girl, she had always been drawn to the world of entertainment. She would often put on shows for her family, dancing and singing to the latest tunes on the radio. Her parents, noticing her natural talent and passion, enrolled her in dance classes. It was there that she truly discovered her love for performing. As she grew older, the actress began to focus more on acting. She landed her first role in a local theater production, and from that moment on, she knew that she wanted to pursue a career in the industry. She started auditioning for film and television shows, determined to make her dream a reality. One pivotal experience that fueled the actress's desire to become a successful performer was her experience working on a low-budget film. Despite the limited resources and tight budget, the actress was determined to give her best performance. She worked tirelessly to perfect her craft, rehearsing her lines and practicing her movements until they became second nature. The film was a critical success and the actress's performance was praised by both critics and audiences alike. It was a defining moment in her career and she knew that she had finally found her calling. From that moment on, the actress dedicated herself to her craft always striving to improve and push herself to new heights. Throughout her career, the actress has continued to inspire and captivate audiences with her powerful performances. She has become a true icon in the world of entertainment, leaving a lasting legacy that will be remembered for generations to come. After growing up in Los Angeles and paying for her ballet lessons by sanding floors and parking cars, the actress found herself on Broadway in the musical Hazel Flag following her lively dance routine. This opportunity led to her casting in the film Living It Up. In the film Breakout, the actress played the role of Myrna, where she was described as having a sure way to distract prison guards. The film also starred notable actors such as Charles Bronson, Robert Duvall, and Jill Ireland. The actress also starred in the film The Outfit alongside Joe Don Baker, where she falsely accused him of trying. Interestingly, both The Outfit and Charlie Varick Another film from the same year featured bank robbers in the Mafia. In summary, the actress had a successful career in both Broadway and film, with notable roles in Hazel Flag, Living It Up, Breakout, and The Outfit. Her talent and charisma shone through in each of her performances, making her a standout in any cast. The actress, Cherie North, faced numerous challenges early in her career. Born in 1932, she grew up in a poor family and had to work from a young age to support herself. Despite these financial struggles, she pursued her dream of becoming an actress. However, the film industry was skeptical of her talent and looks. She was often typecast in supporting roles and was rarely given the chance to showcase her full potential. But the actress refused to let this discourage her. She worked tirelessly to improve her craft and sought out roles that would challenge her. One of the creative solutions she found to overcome industry skepticism was to take dance lessons. She became a skilled dancer and was soon offered roles in musicals. This not only allowed her to showcase her talent, but also helped her to stand out in a crowded field of aspiring actresses. Another obstacle the actress faced was the lack of opportunities for women in the film industry. She was often passed over for leading roles in favor of her male counterparts. But instead of becoming disheartened, she used this as motivation to create her own opportunities. She started her own production company and produced films that featured strong female leads. Despite the many challenges she faced, the actress remained resilient and determined. She continued to work in the film and television industry for several decades, leaving a lasting impact on audiences and industry professionals alike. Her story is a testament to the power of perseverance and the importance of creating one's own opportunities. In the film The Outfit, the actress portrayed Buck's wife. Interestingly, the same year, 1973, she appeared in Charlie Varick, where the main characters were also bank robbers with a connection to the Mafia. 
The original plan for the outfit was to set it in the 1940s, after World War II, which would have been a rare case of backdating a character. However, the studio decided against it due to the perceived expense, and the setting was updated to the contemporary 1970s. In addition to her role in the outfit, the actress also benefited from a connection to Marilyn Monroe. Monroe was set to star in the film Pink Tights, but she disliked the script and refused to do a screen test. Hoping to persuade Monroe, the studio arranged for the actress to test for the role. Although Monroe did not change her mind, the actress's screen test reportedly helped launch her career. After a series of small roles, the actress's breakthrough moment came in 1955 with the film The Man with the Golden Arm. Her powerful performance as a nightclub singer earned her critical acclaim and recognition in Hollywood. Renowned director Otto Preminger took a chance on the relatively unknown actress, and their collaboration resulted in a groundbreaking project that tackled tough social issues. Critics and collaborators alike praised the actress's ability to hold her own against heavyweight co-stars Frank Sinatra and Kim Novak. Her performance was a turning point in her career, showcasing her talent and versatility as an actress. The film's success propelled the actress to stardom and solidified her place in Hollywood. In the following years, the actress continued to make her mark in film and television, delivering memorable performances in The Mating Game, Phantom Planet, and The Detective. She also made a successful transition to the small screen, appearing in numerous TV shows and earning two Emmy nominations. Despite her success, the actress remained humble and dedicated to her craft. She was known for her professionalism and work ethic, earning the respect and admiration of her peers. The actress's ability to take on diverse roles and deliver compelling performances cemented her status as a respected and accomplished actress in Hollywood. When appearing on the television show What's My Line? In 1950, the actress signed in as Sherry North. She had recently worked with director Don Siegel and Charlie Varick, and would later appear in The Shootist as Sarepta. The actress was used as a substitute for Marilyn Monroe by Fox when Monroe was considered unreliable. The studio found that the actress had the same weight and measurements as Monroe at the time. In 1955, she was featured on the cover of Life magazine with the headline Sherry North takes over for Marilyn Monroe. Ironically, she would later play Monroe's real-life mother, Gladys, in Marilyn, The Untold Story in 1980. The actress, known for her work in film and television, had a unique approach to her craft. She was known to immerse herself fully in her roles, often conducting extensive research and drawing from her personal experiences to create authentic and compelling characters. Her worldview, shaped by her upbringing and life experiences, often shone through in her work, adding depth and nuance to her performances. In her creative process, the actress placed great importance on collaboration and open communication with her directors and fellow cast members. She believed that a successful project was the result of a collective effort and was always eager to contribute her ideas and insights. Her ability to adapt and respond to changing circumstances on set was a testament to her professionalism and flexibility. The actress's style was characterized by her naturalistic and nuanced performances. She avoided over-the-top gestures and lines, instead favoring subtlety and restraint. This approach allowed her to convey complex emotions and thoughts with precision and authenticity, making her performances all the more powerful and memorable. Despite facing numerous challenges and setbacks throughout her career, the actress remained committed to her craft and continued to push herself creatively. She was not afraid to take on challenging roles or to explore new genres and mediums, always eager to grow and evolve as an artist. In conclusion, the actress's unique approach to her work, marked by her dedication to research, collaboration, and naturalistic performances, has left a lasting impact on the film and television industry. Her ability to draw from her personal experiences and worldview to create authentic and compelling characters has resonated with audiences and critics alike, making her a respected and admired figure in the world of entertainment. In The Trouble with Girls, the actress took on the role of Nita Bix, just nine days shy of being three years older than Elvis Presley. The film boasted a cast of formidable film noir veterans, including Timothy Carey, Elisha Cook, Jane Greer, Robert Ryan, the actress, and Marie Windsor. Later, in the outfit, the actress played Buck's wife, delivering a strong performance alongside her accomplished co-stars. 
The film was a veritable who's who of film noir legends, with the actress holding her own among the veterans. In Charlie Varick, the actress portrayed Jewel Everett, delivering a memorable line to the Joe Don Baker character, I didn't figure you for Clint Eastwood. Eastwood had previously starred in several Don Siegel films, including Two Mules for Sister Sarah, The Beguile, and Dirty Harry. The actress's performance was a standout in a film filled with talented actors and memorable scenes. Sherry North, an actress who emerged in the 1950s, brought a fresh and modern perspective to Hollywood. She was known for her striking beauty and powerful screen presence, which allowed her to hold her own against some of the industry's biggest leading men. In The Mating Game, North's performance demonstrated her ability to balance comedy and drama, making her a standout in a cast that included Debbie Reynolds and Tony Randall. Critics took notice of her talent, with the New York Times praising her vivaciousness and spunk. North's influence extended beyond her on-screen roles. She was one of the first actresses to challenge the studio system, refusing to be pigeonholed into stereotypical roles. This bold move paved the way for future generations of actresses to take control of their careers and demand more nuance and dynamic characters. The actress was also known for her advocacy for women's rights and her support for other female performers. She was a founding member of the Screen Actors Guild's Women's Committee and worked tirelessly to promote equal pay and opportunities for women in the industry. Actresses who have followed in North's footsteps, such as Meryl Streep and Julian Moore, have cited her as an inspiration. They admire her courage to speak out against injustice and her commitment to breaking down barriers for women in Hollywood. In recent years, there has been a resurgence of interest in North's work, with film historians and critics reevaluating her contributions to the industry. Her impact and influence can still be felt today as modern actresses continue to push for greater representation and equality in Hollywood. North's legacy is a testament to the power of perseverance and the importance of standing up for what one believes in. Her contributions to the industry and her advocacy for women's rights have left an indelible mark on Hollywood and will continue to inspire future generations of performers and activists. After marrying four times, the actress had two daughters and four grandchildren. In 1973, she played Buck's wife in the outfit and also appeared in Charlie Verick, a film sharing a similar theme about a bank robber who unintentionally stole mob money. Prior to this, the actress took over for Shirley Knight in a Los Angeles production of Dutchman in 1965 during the Watts riots. The production was controversial and blamed for inciting unrest, resulting in picketing, blocked newspaper ads, and even her car being set on fire. Despite this, the production ran for a year. The actress, known for her work in film and television, had a deep passion for animal welfare. She was actively involved in various organizations dedicated to the protection and well-being of animals. In her spare time, she would often volunteer at local animal shelters, helping to care for and find homes for abandoned pets. Sherry North's love for animals extended to her own home, where she shared her life with several rescue dogs and cats. She believed that every animal deserved a loving home and made it her mission to spread awareness about the importance of animal adoption. In addition to her work with animals, the actress was also passionate about supporting various charitable causes. She was a strong advocate for women's rights and often used her platform to speak out about issues affecting women and girls around the world. She was also involved in various environmental initiatives using her voice to raise awareness about the importance of preserving it and protecting our planet. Despite her success in the entertainment industry, Shireen North remained humble and dedicated to making a positive impact in the world. She believed that it was important to use her platform for good and was always looking for ways to give back to her community and support causes that were close to her heart. Through her philanthropic efforts and dedication to making a difference, Cherie North left a lasting legacy that continues to inspire and impact others to this day. Her passion for animals, women's rights, and environmental conservation serves as a reminder of the importance of using our voices and platforms to create positive change in the world. After being discovered in a Santa Monica nightclub by a renowned choreographer, the actress began her stage career in New York appearing in popular musicals such as Kin Kin, Irma Lai Doust, and Bye Bye Birdie. In her first significant screen role, she played the star Jitterbugger in the film Living It Up, which was based on the 1953 Broadway musical Hazel Flag. 
The musical, in turn, was based on the 1937 David O. Selznick United Artists film Nothing Sacred, which was suggested by the short story letter to the editor by James H. Street. Only three songs from the Broadway show are performed in Living It Up, Every Street's a Boulevard in Old New York. How do you speak to an angel? And you're gonna dance with me. A snippet of the show's song, Who is the Bravest, is also heard in the film. Reflecting on the actress's career, it's clear she left an indelible mark in the film industry. Despite facing obstacles, she persevered and made a name for herself through her undeniable talent. She starred in numerous films and TV shows, showcasing her versatility and range as an actress. Her advice for aspiring professionals is to stay true to themselves and never give up on their dreams. She emphasizes the importance of hard work, dedication, and resilience in the face of adversity. She encourages young actors to constantly hone their craft, take risks, and push themselves out of their comfort zones. As for the future, the actress envisions contributing to the industry by continuing to take on challenging roles and inspiring future generations of actors. She hopes to use her platform to advocate for diversity, equity, and inclusion in the entertainment industry. In closing, the actress's legacy serves as a reminder of the power of perseverance and the importance of representation in the entertainment industry. Her advice for aspiring professionals is a testament to her enduring impact and serves as a guide for those looking to make their mark in the world of film and television. In the film The Shootist, the actress portrayed Sarepta, a character involved in a past affair with Wayne's character. To fit the role, she was made to appear slightly older. The actress gained recognition in later years for her extensive work on television. She made memorable appearances as Lou Grant's feisty girlfriend in the Mary Tyler Moore show, and as Kramer's mother on Seinfeld, where she revealed his first name, Cosmo, to fans. Additionally, the actress received Emmy nominations for her guest roles in Marcus Welby, MD, and Archie Bunker's Place. Her contributions to television were significant, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. Sherry North, a name that may not be immediately familiar, yet her impact on the entertainment industry is undeniable. Born in 1932, North began her career as a dancer, but her passion for acting soon took center stage. She starred in numerous films and television shows throughout the 1950s and 1960s, often challenging gender norms and breaking barriers for women in Hollywood. Despite facing obstacles and setbacks, including being replaced in a high-profile film role at the last minute, North persevered. She continued to innovate and push boundaries both on and off screen. Her work resonated with audiences and left a lasting impact on the industry. Through her roles in films like The Man with the Golden Arm and The Mating Game, North showcased her versatility and range as an actress. She also made her mark on television, appearing in popular shows such as The Fugitive and The Love Boat. North's impact on the entertainment industry is a testament to the power of creativity and perseverance. Her ability to adapt and innovate in the face of adversity is an inspiration to aspiring actors and artists everywhere. Even today, her work continues to captivate audiences and leave a lasting impression. In the end, it is North's enduring impact on the entertainment industry that truly sets her apart. Her legacy serves as a reminder that with passion, creativity, and perseverance, anyone can leave their mark on the world. Sherry North's career was filled with both triumphs and setbacks. One tragic fact about the actress was the loss of her son, Jeffrey Howard Sessler, who died at the young age of 21 from a drug overdose in 1978. North's career began in the 1950s when she was discovered by a 20th Century Fox talent scout. She quickly rose to fame, appearing in numerous films and television shows throughout her career. However, despite her success, she faced many challenges in the industry, including being typecast and dealing with the pressures of Hollywood. In the 1970s, North decided to take a break from acting to focus on her personal life. She married actor Jack Richards, and the couple adopted a son, Jeffrey. But their happiness was short-lived when Jeffrey passed away just a few years later. The loss of her son had a profound impact on North, and she became an advocate for drug prevention and rehabilitation. She even started her own foundation to help those struggling with addiction. Despite the tragedy she faced, North continued to act appearing in various television shows and movies throughout the 1980s and 1990s. She also returned to the stage, performing in several plays and musicals. North's career spanned over five decades, 
and she left behind a legacy as a talented and dedicated actress. Her tragic loss of her son, however, serves as a reminder of the challenges that many face, even in the midst of success and fame. After watching the actress's impressive performances, you might have formed opinions about her work. We'd love to hear your thoughts on her contributions to the film and television industry. Sherry North's career spanned decades, and she left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. From her early days as a dancer to her memorable roles in various films and TV shows, her versatile talent shone through. The actress's work in The Mating Game and How to Be Very, very popular showcased her comedic prowess, while her dramatic performances in Inherit the Wind and The Man in the Glass Booth highlighted her range. As you reflect on her career, consider the impact she had on the tapestry of entertainment. Her work resonates with many, and her legacy continues to captivate audiences. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content celebrating the creative spirits shaping the entertainment landscape. We invite you to join the conversation in the comments and share your favorite memories or moments from the actress's career. Let's cherish and appreciate her enduring contributions to you.